and welcome uh, to this series of Let's Play for Airport CEO. Uh, for this for this episode, um, I'm just going to concentrate on a basic setup of a terminal with a single commercial point. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm just going to go through the uh, the basic features um, of the game. So pressing F1 will actually bring up and will actually show you where everything is and that's what actually happens when you start the game. So I assume when you're at this stage you've already started the game and you've got the screen open you're just having a few frustrations. So um, basically looking at top, top panel, the game menu, the management panel, manuals and tutorials. So I find this very useful. Make sure that uh, you go through when you actually go through the manuals. Your flight planner, press F to open. Um, and your overlay buttons for construction and demolition. Okay, so to start off with we're actually going to build our terminal building and we're going to set up the layout. Now when I build my terminal building, most people build the terminal building uh, directly in front of the, the driveway and that is perfectly fine. Um, but what I find is when this road starts to get a little bit congested with buses and service vehicles and construction vehicles, um, it starts to um, fill up uh, and then you can have a little bit of blockage. So what for this uh, let's play, I'm actually gonna build the terminal a little bit over to the right hand side and I'm gonna get a bypass road so the, uh, the passengers can actually bypass. And that's perfectly fine as well. Pressing the tab, let's get our first contract. So clicking on contracts, you can see your first contract that is available to you which is a construction contract. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait just a few minutes and and hopefully we'll get, there we go, we get a second offer. Uh, so let's have a look. So the first one is highway. It's maximum deploy per people 53 at $8.10. The next one is 78 contractors at $6.20. So more contractors are available at a cheaper price. So we're going to sign that. And we're good to go. So now let's start um, getting our supplies and getting our contractors. So we don't want to order our contractors first because they're going to sit around and, and, and do nothing. So let's just build our terminal. As we said, we're going to build it a little bit to the, to the right. So hit the structures, scroll up to the top. So sometimes it may be hidden and let's build ourselves a terminal building just off to the side here somewhere. Um, so we're gonna go for 3520. Um, I haven't found the perfect size yet. I think that is gonna be more than big enough. It's probably gonna be a little bit too big, but that's all right, just gives a little bit, so, so 35 by 20. Now, let's order our contractors, go to operations, Go to construction, deploy contractors. We're gonna deploy all our contractors at the beginning because we have a huge amount of work to do to start off with. In this Let's Play, we're not restricted by the, from, by the finances. We've started nice and easy. Whilst it's starting to build the, uh, the terminal building, we're now gonna start building the buses and the car drop-off points. The reason for this is your employees, including your procurement director and your COO that you need early in the game, uh, come in via that means. So, once again, to do this, let's zoom in a little bit. Infrastructure, bus stops, and car drop-off points. And as we said before, we're gonna place those a little bit to the right. So we're going to turn this around and have a couple of these points. Now I've found separating these by one square or five, uh, one square of five has assisted to stop the buses from actually um, getting a little bit confused and crashing into each other. So there's the bus stops. Now we're going to do some car drop off points, turn that around. and we've done a couple of car drop-off points. As you can see, the contractors are coming in now. 
and they're quite happy just slowly building that terminal. So we'll speed that up a bit. Um, once we've done that, let's build the normal road and we're gonna bring the normal road in from the, from the side. As you can see, we've got a little bit of congestion, but that's gonna free up soon. Uh, so down at the bottom, As I said, we've got a lot of construction at the beginning. Now that we've built our, our bus stops, we need to make sure that we've actually got walkways so they can go across. So let's drop a couple of crosswalks over between the buses, between the cars, and we're gonna do the sidewalks to allow our customers to be able to walk straight to the terminal. So we're just gonna close this gap up, have a little bit of a a gap there. This may or may not be needed, but I found it's been very helpful. And then we'll do the sidewalks. Right up to the door. And then we'll match it. up to the terminal building. And just for, not needed, but it just matches it. And obviously we need to throw a door on there, just to make sure people can get in our terminal building. So there we go. So we've now created the bus stops and the drop-off points, and that will allow your staff to, to slowly um, come in. Terminal building slowly getting built. So what we're now going to concurrently do is we're going to start setting up in preparation for our first um, commercial aircraft. So once again, going to structures, infrastructure, and we're going to take a medium stand. Now I'm gonna drop the medium stand just in the corner here, and you can see the gate and it just fits in nicely. From the medium stand, the next thing we're actually gonna do is actually build our, our runway strip. So taking that, take our small runway, and we're gonna go for the east-west direction that's actually already predefined and, and set up. So we're gonna place our our runway just neatly on the end like just lining it up like so and we've dropped our small runway after we've dropped the small runway and this was where it, it starts to get a little bit uh, trickier we're now going to do our taxi foundation. Now, the taxi foundation defaults as grass, um, but we are gonna just take asphalt just so it stands out a little bit more. So, oh, so take the asphalt, and we're gonna build our taxi foundation. The minimum, I believe, is three by three um, for the width, but I'm gonna do five just because it, um, I find it just looks a little bit uh, nicer. So there's five wide. Okay, so now we've built our, our taxi foundation. That allows aircraft to come in, go to the medium stand. And get to the runway. Now before I finish, we need to put in the taxi nodes. So click on the taxi nodes. What you want to do is at the center of your taxi foundation, create your nodes. And this will allow your aircraft to move along to get to the actual runway. And you just want to click, um, make sure that's all connected. The last thing you want to do, and I've just clicked off, is you now want to actually have your holding points. 
and this what will this will do is this will stop your aircraft from making its way onto the runway um, whilst another aircraft is preparing to land or currently taking off so whilst you're hovering over your airport nodes uh, your taxiway nodes right click and click to insert uh, your mark in this case here it's the wrong way around so we want to actually click twice and that will turn it around okay so now we've got the runway ahead done a little bit dark but that will actually have a holding point for an aircraft so there we go um, clearly they're gonna have to just build that so we'll come back a little bit later when that that's all built okay and welcome back so now we've uh, let it go for a little bit it's still racing away there in the background we've got our ta uh, we've got our first stand uh, operational so from that we can now procure fuel or we can start the procurement for fuel so press the tab button because we need to get some staff so my suggestion is is to then look at your employees tab the board and open the applications so you can actually open all the applications it doesn't penalize you they simply just send in their resumes and then you can actually um, to, to actually have a look so then go to the applica applicants tab scroll down and the ones that we need to procure straight away or to hire straight away is a procurement director and we've got three so you can click on it to actually have a look at their attributes and you can hire and then the other one we want to hire is our COO to start off with so we'll hire our CEO so now we've got a procurement director and a CEO what that allows you to do is to then go to the oper uh, the contracts under contracts procurement and if we scroll down right down to the bottom we've got two types of fuel services we've got jet a1 fuel services and we've got avgas now for this let's play we are going to focus on setting up a commercial um, starting a commercial track so we're just going to unlock the jet a1 fuel service takes five hours to complete so we're just going to let that work in the background while we set up other other things so we can work concurrently as we go through as we're working concurrently we now have the shell of our terminal and the bus stop and the uh, the parking lots are free now as you can see you've got a couple of people standing around doing nothing and they are your procurement director your COO and me all right so what we need to do is build them an office now the office doesn't actually at this stage of the game doesn't actually um, change the format um, what it actually does is it just gives them somewhere to actually sit down so what we're going to do is we're going to set up an area and we're going to split the secure area to the unsecure zone so we're setting up the zones um, now you can go 50 50 but in my case I'm actually just going to go a little bit heavier on the uh, on the secure area versus the non-secure because obviously that's where they spend most of their time so just um, maybe two-thirds one-third um, and there we go now we've created so that's going to be the secure zone and this is going to be the non-secure zone um, no walls so far we're just setting it up and we can place the walls in a little bit later so let's build ourselves in the non-secured area. We're just going to build ourselves a little office, um, and then that way we can have these guys uh, sitting. So it's just a general staff office. Just throw it in the corner here. A wall. A wall. Drop a door in there. Zooming in. Make sure you can turn the doors around like you can with everything else oh that's the wall that's why 
Now we can drop a door in there, turn the door around. We've dropped a small door. If we go to items, we can grab a office desk. So let's grab a couple of office desks. Before I drop the office desk in there, I need to once again zone this area as staff. So click the staff button, zone. Now you've zoned it. Now you can drop a desk in there. So there's a couple of desks for them to sit in. Let's drop a little bit of furniture in there. So the staff have got somewhere to sit. Couple of nice comfy armchairs. Maybe a couple of small plants. And a trash can. There you go, how's that for an office? Already the staff are sitting there already, just waiting for the furniture and that to come in. So we've got the office, and that will allow them to have a place to, to hang out and rest. Um, now we want to set up the, the rest of the terminal. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a security checkpoint. And we're going to drop that, let's say, in the middle. Next to the security checkpoint, we're going to actually create a small security checkpoint. And what that's going to be used for is it's going to be used for a staff entry point. So what you're going to do is you're going to change the settings so passengers go in through the main security point and staff go in through the small security checkpoint. The next thing you're going to add is a security exit. So we've done the security checkpoint, a small security checkpoint, and then now a security exit. And what the security exit does, it allows people to exit the secure area. So that's the three things we've set up. We're going to set up a boarding desk, and that's going to uh, come in handy a little bit later. So we're going to put the boarding desk just in front of the gate, and if you zoom in, you've got to make sure the arrows are pointing towards the actual gate entry itself. Now you do not need to build a door, because the boarding already has a door. Boarding desk there, we're going to create little bit of bit of furniture so they've got places to sit and there's a bit of gate seating and the last thing we're actually going to do is now build our our check-in desk so the way we're going to structure is we're going to have check-in on the left hand side and we're going to have baggage on the right hand side. So check in desk, just rotating that. Once again, you're looking at the arrows. The arrows here are almost the opposite to the boarding desk. The arrows come from the bottom. So we're going to have our check in desk there. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room, and that's going to be for the baggage um, uh, afterwards. And that will be that will make clear when we actually do the let's play on on baggage. All right, so there's your check-in desk. The last thing we're gonna do now, so tab, procurement, jet fuel is now complete. We're gonna actually now start building our fuel depot. So to do that, as I said, we're going to split it over to the left hand side. So infrastructure, roads, we're going to head this way. Next thing we want to do is, obviously we've got the normal road. And we now then want to go into a service road. But to get into the service road, you need to have a checkpoint. So bring the checkpoint there. And then that will allow you to convert from a normal road to a service road. So we're going to come at the bottom of the stands. You will see that there's a service road 
um, that's already there. So what we're going to do is now extend the service road. A normal road here into a checkpoint and a service road. The service road is for the internal vehicles, as it sounds, um, uh, to allow the services such as baggage carts, fuel, and later domes when you actually get uh, um, get it actually built. It also actually brings in food, catering, cleaning services. So what we now want to build is we want to build um, a fuel services. So we go to structures, and we can see here we've got three. We've got fuel and we've got vehicles. So the first thing we're gonna build is our fuel depots. So with the fuel, because when you click it, it's gonna to default to aviation fuel. So you need to hover over fuel depots, move your arrows to Jet A1, and make sure you actually deploy the Jet A1 fuel first. So we're gonna do that, and we're literally gonna put that um, right near the beginning uh, so the fuel truck will come in off the streets and just fuel that up so place that there and we're going to take the fuel tank and park that right next to it Whoop. see how it says too far away from fuel depot because I had to do the same fuel tank jet A1 And now that's fine. Vehicle service depot. Drop that in. And now we actually have the fuel and we have the service depot. So they will start being built. They, they will start to um, construct that while we move on to the next bit. All right, whilst that's building, we now just want to add the final features just to make sure we get our, up, our airport up and running. So we're going to upgrade the runway, and we're actually going to upgrade it to asphalt just so it's a, a little bit more obvious and you can see. So that's been upgraded. What we're also going to do is we're then going to put in our... Uh, Where are we? Our structures, where we can actually put in our terminal, uh, not our terminal, our ATC and our weather station. So click the ATC and that can be dropped wherever you would like to drop it. Um, at the moment, the ATC does not need road access. So you can just drop it into the middle. You can take the weather station and you can park the weather station right next to it. Uh, as I said, it does not need road access, so it can simply just sort of sit in the middle, or it can sit anywhere in the map. It doesn't appear to actually have to be a certain distance away from the, the runway strips uh, today. Okay, so now that my fuel has been built, as well as my vehicle depot has been built, we just want to make sure that we get the fuel and we get a vehicle in preparation for uh, taking our first commercial aircraft. Now let it be known is you do not need to have the fuel trucks to land your first aircraft. The aircraft will land without the ability for you to deliver fuel. The fuel just brings on an extra income. So to do that, once again, you go into the contracts tab Go to procurement, uh, first of all you go into offers and you can see fuel. So I can see AVI fuel and I can see nature fuel. So same thing, check it out. Um, what we're looking for jetway, so this is uh, 0.009 cents but they'll deliver 400,000 litres per delivery. And this is 1 cent but it's 200,000 delivery so it's a fraction more expensive. However they will deliver a small um, uh, a smaller amount. So I'm going to take nature fuel um, just so I don't have um, the larger larger volumes but it, you can just choose which one you like. So sign the contract 
and then that will be delivered. The next thing you actually want is a fuel truck. So you go into procurement and right at the top, you can actually order your first fuel truck. So we want a Jet A1 fuel truck, so we're gonna order now, and it will take 45 minutes to be delivered and it'll automatically come in. So that will allow, so you can see already, the fuel truck is coming in, and they will make their way comfortably over here, they'll go into the service entrance, they'll drop off the fuel, and then that will be fueled. So we're almost there to take our first um, first setup. So now we just want to open up queues and finish off a couple of things. So the way that we do queues is we zoom in, we click. Whilst we're here, we're going to activate this check-in to be eligible to take two staff and then you're using both sides and we're gonna build a queue. The queue system, although not compulsory, just makes things a little bit tidier when you've got people coming in. So press and then you just wind it around. We're gonna build it for security, so click build queue, but before we actually build the queue, we want to turn employees off, because we've got the employee entrance and we're gonna build the queue. So, bang. And there we go. And I always do a little tail at the end because that helps to expand it if you need to. So now we've got the same for the small one. We're gonna turn passengers off. So it's just for employees and we're gonna build the queue. All right, so there's our two queues. And we're almost there. So we've got a secure area. So now we just wanna link everything up. So now I think we're ready to turn on the airport. To do this, we've got a few things we need to do. So first of all, we need to click on the boarding gate. Click the boarding gate, connect the stand, and we need to connect the stand to the stand. Done. Then we need to collect the stand, and we need to open, turn it to commercial and we need to open the stand. Oh, okay, my mistake. We've missed a little bit of a connection there. So let's just grab that taxi mode from there down to there. So one small mistake, then we can click, open to commercial, hit open stand and the stand is open. Still a couple more points to go. Then we wanna to go to the actual runway, make sure commercial and general aviation, make sure it's both ways, and click open runway. The runway is open. Still, we have not finished yet. We're still, the airport is closed. So the next thing we wanna do is press tab, go to operations, go to overview, and we want to open security, uh, uh, airport open, and open all security. And we want Jet A refueling services to be enabled. And we want ramp agent services to be enabled. The ramp agents is, in this case, we're not doing baggage, but what we are doing is we're gonna get some extra money by servicing. So at this stage, your airport is now open. Congratulations. This is not, we haven't actually done the um, any contracts yet, but we've now opened the airport. All right, that's the end of this, this play. The next one, we're gonna talk about hiring the staff, staff ratios, and uh, fulfilling a commercial contract.